Hello beauties, I hope you guys are still doing lovely. If you're new here, my name is Peladi. In today's seventh episode of my How to Do Eyeshadow series for beginners, I'm going to start off by prepping my lid base with this LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Twaffy. Up next, I'm going to set my brow bone area with this large shade of brush using my Sorbet Powder to You Translucent Powder. So beauties, I thought I should include a no cut crease eyeshadow look in this eyeshadow series for beginners because I do understand that not all of you beauties know the intricacies of cutting your crease yet but still want to have a good eye look, you know? So this eyeshadow tutorial speaks to that and I will be playing in this Makeup Revolution Velvet Rose palette for starters and the first shade I will pick up is this burgundy one right here on my Zoeva 231 brush. So I'm going to start off by patting the shade onto my crease area. Remember to always tap off the excess. This helps in making your shades less patchy and you will get a nice even blend or an even build up. Wipe down the brush and immediately buff out any harsh edges. And to transition that shade, I will go into my next Ultimate Phoenix palette. This time I will take this red one right here on my Zoeva 227 brush and I will begin to pat it along the edges of where that blend starts. This is just to add a different dimension into the look. I will buff out those harsh edges with my Zoeva 221 brush. Staying with my next Ultimate Phoenix palette, I'm going to take the shade right here on this dense shade of brush and I'm going to start patting it all over my lid area. You want to apply the shade slightly underneath that first shade that we used. use my Zoeva 231 brush to blend out the harsh edges and almost marry it into that first shade we laid down. For the next part of this eyelid, I will be going in with my NYX Foil Clay Cream Pigment in the shade Red Armor. So with those cream eyeshadow pigments, you might want to go in with this type of brush, this eyeshadow helper. You also can go in with that dense shade of brush or you can go in with a bullet brush. No matter which brush you go, you decide to use, make sure that the brush is wet and you can do so using your, whoopsie, using your setting spray. So the brush that I've decided to use for this look is this bullet brush and I'm just going to dip it into the pigment and start applying it in a way that I would apply my shimmer shades when I'm doing a cut crease look. And this is one of the reasons why you will need a brush with a pointy edge such as this one. And when you get to the outside part, you can just take whatever is on the brush and lightly blend it into that outside eyeshadow that we laid down. On this side of my eye, I decided to show you how to use these eyeshadow helpers.
but they apply this one applies different as the brush the brush still leaves you know the glittery shimmery part of the pigment whereas this one applies it sort of like uh, hmm sort of like a paint I don't know I don't know how to explain it but it doesn't apply it the same way as the brush side so because I want my eyes to look the same I am going to go in with the brush but I hope you beauties can see that this eyeshadow helper also helps when you are applying a pigment and just like that beauties this is how you can still have an amazingly beautiful eye look without cutting your crease this look is very time savvy and you don't have to use pigments alone you can also do the same technique with your shimmer shades just make sure that your brush is wet otherwise you can lay down your lash glue and apply any shimmer shade on top of that and it'll come out looking like this or even better <laughs> So please tag me on Instagram if you do try out this look and let me know whether you used pigments or shimmer shades. I will be using my Super Lost Essence Deep Black Eyeliner today. And before I wear my 5D lashes today, I will coat and separate my lashes with this Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Now to smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going to go back into the NYX Phoenix palette and I will use a mixture of both of these shades together on the small blending brush. I will start with the dark one first. I will blend the shade out using my Zoeva 221 brush. Instead of that red shade, I'm going to pick up this orange one right underneath it. My inner corner highlight, I will go into the NYX palette and I will take this shimmer shade right here on this detailing pencil brush i love how this shimmer shade is a bit more brighter than the pigment red also applying it with a wet brush just fyi And just like that, my beauties, we have made it to the end of episode 7 of my How to Do Eyeshadow series for beginners. Thank you so, so much for participating and for watching my content. If you liked this video and if you like this look, please give me a big thumbs up. But if you haven't already, my darling, please subscribe to my channel and show your girl some love. I will catch up with you beauties again in my next one. Bye. Bye.